All right, so we sell these uh, battery packs all put together with everything hooked up, which I'm doing right now. But we also have people that just want to buy the parts. You want to buy the board and you want to buy the batteries and you're going to hook it all up yourself. Well, there's a couple of things uh, you need to know, of course. And when you buy all the parts from us and you get that big box full of parts, the next thing will be as well, I guess I better call them and ask them how to hook this up. And that's where this video comes in. Because uh, I could spend three or four hours on the telephone telling you how to hook up the parts that we made uh, 20 bucks on selling you. Or we'll do the video and then you uh, look at the video and maybe give me a thumbs up and it answers your question. So of course you got to have one wire from every cell. And that's what we have here and here's all the cell wires. They come into here and they go into your BMS your board right there and of course you have to have them all in order the 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 black one here is going to be our most negative and the red one on the other side is our most positive and you can't get any of that wrong or you burn the board out of course if you burn the board out you just send it back and say it wasn't any good uh now if you're going to hook up your cells more than uh than one you're going to put them in parallel you're going to need these bus bars which you can get the copper bar and, and drill it out. We can sell you the bar, or we can drill them out for you, whatever you want. This one's uh, wrapped up in five in parallel. Uh, of course, you got to bus bar over these middle wires because it's possible to have a cell get out of... There's two cells in each can. So it's possible to have those guys get out of whack. Uh, now, here is the here is the... Uh, wiring diagram that I use for for my setup uh, to make these BMS's work so that they can control heavy current and I have a I have a little power supply here that runs these two relays and that's his job is to be able to run those two relays and our BMS itself actually will uh, we got our B minus here and we have our charge and power both of those have a shared wire on the side. So to get from drive to charge, we need to reverse the polarity, and we do that with our double pull, double throw switch, which on this setup that we're doing now, I have right here. I've got my double pull, double throw switch. I got my little power supply to give me 12 volts. And over here is where I have my uh, relays. Uh, and you see if we turn one side on here, that's the charge side, we'll have the charge relay come on here. And you see the little red light on there. And we go over here and turn to drive, and we have the drive relay on. So the, And those relays go back out, and you hook up, like we're going to have this controller here, so you could have the... the uh, drive wire coming out of here being controlling the uh, either the potentiometer or the uh, key switch and same thing with the charger you can hook a relay up there to turn your char uh, you can use one of the relays to turn your charger off and on you can also run the uh, charger through this BMS board these guys will handle this one right here handles 20 amps uh, they make different models. The more, the higher the amperage, the more they cost. Uh, the uh, advantage to going through the board is that you get to see on your on your telephone what the uh, BMS, what the current is going through. You can monitor your current that way. So let's go back over to this schematic because you're going to want to pause the uh, pause the 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 screen so you can look at this and and uh, get all the info off it this is a double pull double throw switch with the off in the middle position and that's the switch here so we can switch it here or we can have it in the middle where nothing is on I also have another switch up here that turns our whole power supply to stop the meter from working and stop any drain on current so back to where we are on this. So here's how this works. The power supply is on 
and depending on which way you flip this switch is going to depend on which way the current goes through these coils. It'll go through one way uh, in one position and go the other way through the other, which fakes this uh, BMS into thinking either it's charging or, or, or discharging. And it has its transistors in there that control the on-off of the situation depending on how low or high the batteries are. If the batteries are all the way charged up, it may turn off the charger, but it won't turn off the drive end of the relays. So you, if you're in, uh, and vice versa, you've run the batteries all the way down so the thing turns off and it won't turn on, but you want the charger to come on and that's where you'd flip the switch the other way. So uh, we notice here that the bottom, this is our negative from our power supply. And if, we're in, if we have our negative connected to our negative of our, uh, our B minus, then we're going to find up here that connects our drive relay and, and it completes the circuit that way. And, and, that's, uh, uh, and we also got these little lights on here that go just across the coil basically so that uh, we can see that the, the uh, BMS is happy. He's, turn, he, he's saying go and we've got our drive switch on so that, that lets us know everybody's ready to go. All right, so there we have it. That's a quick rundown of what it is, and I've got other videos that show other details of this.